Right then, let's go ahead and install the peak on the helmet. Now to do that, we need to take off these covers here. These covers are not going to go back on with the peak. They're just there to hide the mechanism um, when you're not using the peak. So to do that, what we need to do is move this through 90 degrees and they are quite tricky, as you can see, quite tight. Once you've done that, you should be able to get your fingers under there and just remove that. And the reason you need, hopefully, it'll focus on that little spigot. As you can see, before you turn it 90 degrees, it can't come out of the slot. So that's the reason for that. Set that to one side, because we're gonna reuse them. They do supply a couple of spares and they're quite tough. So don't be worried too much about breaking them. As I said, then we remove this area uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll remove the other side. Okay, now we've taken off the fasteners, we'll grab the peak. So there's the peak. Now before we install the peak, we need to remove a screw, a plastic screw at the top of the helmet there. And we'll use our trusty Swiss Army knife and we'll take that out. Now you can actually reuse this one, um, but if you need to uh, take the peak off, obviously you're gonna need your knife or a screwdriver, but they give you a replacement, which is like a thumb screw. So you're probably better off to use that. Now what you do, and hopefully you can see this, and we sit the peak on the top there, and there's actually two positions. You've got the forward position, I'll just tip the helmet, or the rear position. So I'll put this in the rear, and we'll just use the thumb screw there and that just holds that in place. As I said, we don't need those black covers again because this area covers the mechanism. The next thing we do is take our fastener that we put to one side and we drop that into the hole there and it is quite tricky, oh, as you can see, and even worse when you're filming a, a demo, it always goes wrong. I sell software, I'm an engineer and I sell software and if it can go wrong on a demo, it will go wrong. And then we just turn that 90 degrees and that's locked into place. And we'll spin it around. And hopefully we can do the other side. Okay. As I said, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. And I'll drop that into there. Come on, don't let me down now. There we go. And just give that a, a turn. And there it is. We've got the peak installed. The cool thing about this is that if you decide you wanna drop the peak um, back a little bit, all you do is undo the thumb screw on the top and just give that a turn and then secure it wherever you want. So I might leave it in its furthest position and that's the peak installed okay so that's the unboxing done and we've installed the peak the next thing we'll do is fire up the bike and we'll give it a test ride so stay tuned well guys what an absolutely stonking morning we've got here in regional Victoria so I'm up uh, fairly early testing out the new Climb Krios Pro. Uh, it's the first time I've had the helmet on. I have to say I'm really, really impressed with it so far. 